Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where today, John Cohen and I speak with Manny Pacheco about things in Hollywood that were forgotten and not so forgotten, but certainly for many of us, we need a reminder from time to time. I think, hey, Manny. You know, I, hi, hi, John. I think that may have been art's best introduction ever. Good. <laughs> so let's not say anything about it, and why don't we just move into it while it's fresh and <laughs> Nobody notices how good it was. It was good. I liked yeah. it. Thank you. Manny Art and I were talking a little while ago about uh, sidekicks in movies. Mm. Yeah. And um, I, I guess there's millions of them. I, none of them came to mind for me. Um, the classic one that I thought of was uh, in uh, Top Gun. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise's uh, backseat pilot is Goose. Right, uh, right. But even he pales by comparison to um, yeah. the girl who played his wife, uh, whose name escapes me right now. Well, Anthony Edwards played Goose, I remember. And I'm not even a Top Gun fan, but I knew that. So, yes, yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry. it was bigger than you than you give it credit for, because he was a, a definite sidekick. Yeah. Well, I think sidekicks have been really important throughout the history of film. I mean, everybody uh, 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 as uh, as important as Spencer Tracy to Clark Gable in three films. Mm -hmm. He was pretty much a sidekick. The most uh, reliable of those was kind of a goose-like character who dies at the end in Test Pilot. But for me, if you want to pick the quintessential sidekick, you got to you got to take Doctor Watson in Sherlock Holmes. Oh, oh fourteen of different films, and Nigel Bruce was absolutely yes. perfect as the befuddled John Watson. Yes. And it really, um, it was such a good performance in each of the episodes. And I can say that because last week I binged watched every episode. Really? <laughs> I did. Just happened, I happened to binge watch every single episode and he never falters. And he was so good, in fact, that when he died in 1953, and when Basil Rathbone was given opportunities to star in another Sherlock Holmes, as opposed to doing character work or, or supporting work, yeah. mm -hmm. he refused because he could not have uh, Nigel Bruce as no Dr. Kidding. Watson by his side. Yeah. Nigel Bruce was a great character actor. That's right. And uh, he was, he, you're right, he was a quintessential uh, John Watson. Yeah. yeah. I say Holmes. Sidekicks uh, uh, were like, um, like the road movies with uh, uh, Crosby and uh, yes. uh, Hope, they were not really, or, or, or Abbott and Costello, they were not really sidekicks because they were sort of like co-equal stars. They were buddies. I they disagree, really, I, I disagree yeah. with this much. I think Abbott and Costello, uh, Laurel and Hardy, the Three Stooges, Dean uh, Martin and Jerry Lewis, that, that's yeah. a team. Yeah. I honestly think those road pictures really had the whole sidekick mentality. I do. I agree. I think Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. Bob Hope was definitely in these films the second banana. Sure. And, and especially after Bing Crosby won his Oscar for Going My Way, but Bob Hope didn't mind. He was the comedic relief, and he was the quintessential buddy. And so important were those road pictures for two reasons. One, uh, that was at Paramount. Warner Brothers would then uh, try to do a, a similar thing with Dennis Morgan and Jack Carson. And yeah. th that was the whole sidekick thing. And two, I named my third book Road to Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History. So, yes, those road pictures to me are definitely what you call buddy sidekick roles. Now, we have talked in the past, I mean, way in the past, we've done about a, close to 150 of these. But way back when we were basically in our infancy, when we did four or five of these, we did a whole thing about Westerns and the Saddle Tramps, which were in effect sidekicks. You know, the, the folks sure. like Gabby Hayes and Pat Buttram and Andy Devine, you know, all of these individuals who were the Saddle Tramps uh, that usually had names like California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Fuzzy, you know, yeah. <laughs> in the case of Gabby Hayes. And, and they were also, the Westerns were built on the concept of sidekicks. Yeah. Right. Now... Manny, sidekicks, more often than not, are really cast for comic relief. Yes, I think so. I agree. Do, can you think of any sidekicks? I was trying to think of um, murder mysteries, detectives kind of things. 
Um, what's the name of the uh, the guy who had a uh, an Asian oh, uh, uh, Charlie driver? Chan. Well, there was Charlie Chan, and he had his number one son. And number yeah. one son was a sidekick. Sure. But it was yeah. also for comedic relief as well. And even... I'm going to give you a real forgotten detective serial in in the in the uh, in the tradition of a Charlie Chan, and that was Michael Shane. I don't know if you remember the Michael Shane movies with Lloyd Nolan as the uh, as the lead actor. And Lloyd yeah. Nolan was great in these Michael Shane movies. They play on Fox, uh, the uh, uh, channel every once in a while, late late at night, and I I love them. The sidekick is usually the uh, pol the police detective, and that person was usually played by William Demarest, and that was a model for having the smart uh, detective and of course the clueless, uh, you know, uh, police officer. That was really that began with um, with the Thin Man movies. You know, uh, we, we would have somebody like Sam Levine played, point, yeah. Puddle. yeah, and 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 of course uh, William Powell would be the sharper than sharp um, Nick and Nora. You know, they had, they were the smart ones, and yeah. uh, and Sam Levine, for example, would play the um, the befuddled detective. They were sidekicks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I have a question for you. I have a question for you, Manny. So. I think you're right. To me, the sidekick has been basically in the uh, Western, uh, like you say, the Gabby Hayes and that type. And that's what I've always thought of as a sidekick. One thing right. I've sort of noticed is the beginning of sidekicks, like with Thelma and Louise, uh, although they were somewhat co-stars, but there aren't too many women that come to my mind, maybe because they haven't made enough uh, movies together as a as a uh, group that they would be female sidekicks i just don't i can't recall them i'm going to i'm going to say something that's really out of the box but makes so much sense that somebody needs to say it so i will say it today on celebrating act 2 if only lucille ball and vivian vance had made a movie oh yeah why did they make a movie together yes. so that that is so obvious to me yes i don't think it was ever discussed I mean, they made television shows together, more than yeah. one, and they were absolutely tremendous. Sure. She but can you imagine a movie with them together? Yeah, yeah. now that, she was a sidekick. You're right. Right. She was a true sidekick, and, and yeah. boy, I, I, I would have paid money to see the two. Now, another modern sidekick uh, type film, anything with the amazing Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. Ah. Oh, Odd yeah. couple... Out yeah. to see the Grumpy Old Men series. Yeah, I mean, even the Fortune Cookie. I they, they were so good together as the buddy or team. They were kind of a team, but really more like the road pictures. Yeah, and I, I, I truly believe that they were like like the road pictures. They were trying to upstage each other in every scene, sure. and that just made the scenes just so much better. Yeah, I think that they are such a quintessential buddy type. That worked for comedy very, very well. Right, right. It is hard to tell sometimes the difference between a buddy relationship and a sidekick relationship, um, ex unless, of course, it's a, a comic relief. Right. Gabby right. Hayes is obviously a sidekick, you know. But well, but uh, the buddy the buddy relationship really works well too. And there have been a lot of romantic comedies trying to think of one now but a lot of rom romantic comedies where the girlfriend the female lead has a girlfriend who plays comic relief and is essentially well, well spencer, spencer tracy and uh and hepburn you could almost uh no, well, that, back, but they're, they're really close really no, 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 no i no, no i would I, if you're gonna go that direction art i would go more william powell myrna Loy, but even then i i don't think so no yeah. it, it and it's not the romance there's no romance between the sidekick and the and the or the butt or the team buddies it's right it's a it's a um, what a business relationship a friendship yeah, yeah. and also for yeah that's like saying harry us. met sally yeah. was you know sally was a Sidekick. No, 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 no. It's a romantic I, I, I can't think of those, but I will tell you, you did make me think a little bit about the modern rom com that actually was a western, and I think that the sidekicks there with Billy Crystal and City Slickers. 
Oh, I yeah. mean, there there was a right. tradition of both urban and uh, rural sidekicks yes. all rolled yeah. into one, and he had two sidekicks in that one. Right. And that, guys, guys, hold it, guys. I think we're getting a little bit sidetracked. Oh, okay. You, but, and uh, who sidetracked us? You did. Well, Emperor Tracy, you're the one that sidetracked us. What are you talking about? That's been <laughs> my, the, you, details, details. But really, a, side, a sidekick, I guess, in my mind, uh, like you brought up with the West, is, is where there are many, many movies made that have the same cast of characters. So let me ask you this, though, in, in that realm. Uh, is there any sidekick who got booted for whatever reason? Uh, that the next film they did without the sidekick just tanked because we were wondering where that sidekick was. Can you think of uh, any situations well, like that? Well, I think that happens more of the star goes away and is replaced. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that the sidekick is the moneymaker in the film. I mean, I think the sidekick is always kind of pleasant to have. Yeah. Uh, I remember the, um, what is the name of that? With Glenda Farrell, uh, her, her, um, her, her character had a sidekick, which was a male. Actually, yeah. you're Barton McLean, Glenda Farrell and Bart, and and they and she played kind of a sleuth, and he again plays the kind of dumb detective, but actually she's in love with him, and they replaced them in two of the movies, uh, one with Jane Wyman, I don't know who the guy was, but both of the movies that didn't uh, that didn't have a Glenda Farrell and Barton McLean yeah. actually tanked. And, and one was in the middle of the series, and then the other one was the last one of the series. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, that was, um, uh, uh, what was her name? I, I, I'm drawing a blank, but but anybody who's listening who knows movies will know exactly when I say Glenda Farrell and Barton McLean. They know yeah. exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. We're expecting them to make a note in the sorry, comment section sorry, of just this. A second. Let me just throw this in. <laughs> Going back to Harry Met Sally. Mm hmm both Harry and Sally had sidekicks. Yes. And they're, yeah. they're, they're well-known actors. I can't think of their names. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one, but they had sidekicks, was... and they were semi-comedic uh, semi sidekicks. Mm -hmm. so, well, one yeah. of them, actually, the, the male, he, he also appeared with Billy Crystal in, 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 uh, in City Slickers. So. You're right. You're right. And, and, he, uh, and, and then he... he, he Wars, I think. And then he didn't renegotiate. Re and so they replaced him in the City Slickers 2 with John Lovitz. Mm, interesting. So, yeah, yeah. So th that happens uh, from time to time. Yes, characters do get replaced, Art. Yeah. I am not sure that the sidekicks bring in the money. I don't think that they're the, they're the draw. But I, I think that there is a certain amount of chemistry you don't want to fool around with. And yeah. that's the whole idea behind sidekicks. That's why I say, boy... Can you imagine Lucille Ball and Vivian Vance on the yep. big screen together? That I salivate for that idea. That would have yeah. been so good. Yeah, yeah the like, writing is good, obviously. So that's, I'd like that's, to I'd like to leave I'd like to leave uh, uh, our audience with this thought: is that there's no doubt in my mind that John and I are sidekicks to Manny <laughs> Pacheco. Okay, because if we were gone, nobody would care. But that's if right. Manny, if Manny were gone. Oh my! We well, if you a... were gone, we'd be like Th Thelma and Louise driving yeah. off a cliff. Right. If be... Art, if Art was gone, he's got all the equipment. We wouldn't even be doing the show. <laughs> Let's leave it right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.